Yes, we are indeed standing on holy ground. So now in this time and this place, it is our desire to close the sacred circle of promise made at our last synod when the assembly affirmed its repudiation of the doctrine of discovery with all its destructive impacts. To accompany us in this process, we are honored to welcome today Reverend Bruce Kafer, an enrolled member of the Oglala Sioux Tribe. He is a sage, a history keeper, and a healer of body, mind, and soul. So please join me in welcoming our brother, Bruce Kafer. Ampetu washte mitakoyepe. And in English, I have said, Good day, my relatives. My name, my Lakota name, is Wahan Chanka Yapi Yuhamani. And that translates to walks with shield. And my family gave me this name to serve as a warrior for all people and for all things. In the Lakota language, we have the words mitakoye, mitakoye oyasin, which means all my relations. And so we are gathered here today, and from an indigenous perspective, we are standing in ceremony within the sacred hoop of life. And so we offer this tobacco to the West in recognition of that, that we are upon Mother Earth. And we offer this tobacco to the North in recognition of this land, of the ancestors, the tribes who lived here since time immemorial. We offer this tobacco to the East in a good way as we greet the sun each morning which blesses us on our journey. And we offer this tobacco to the South to complete the circle that we all stand within. The repudiation of the doctrine of discovery is certainly a positive statement by a large congregation. And indeed, the doctrine of discovery, with its many edicts, laws, ways of looking at the world and beliefs, resulted in historic disenfranchisement for my relatives, for many American Indians, Alaska Natives, Native Hawaiians, in other indigenous people, not only in this country, but throughout the world. And so it is that we recognize this unfortunate and, in many cases, ongoing perpetration of disparity. My grandmother, my great-grandmother, uh, on June 25th and June 26th, in 1876, lived through the Battle of Little Bighorn. So that was just, the anniversary was just a few days ago. And she lived through those days, and she would tell my mother the stories of what she called the teepee days. And that was a different time and a different era. And it's Joseph Marshall III who writes that that was the day that the world ended for the Lakota people, as well as the Cheyenne and others. But it was the wisdom of the elders that they decided to acquiesce to the wishes of the United States and the practice of hegemony domination by sheer numbers. And they decided to 
stay within the reservation boundaries so that their children may live. And so, of course, I am one of those children. So, as we continue the journey of healing, and as we look to what we can do in terms of how we can remain connected to each other despite differences, I'm going to offer a healing song. And so this healing song will be a song that, since we're in ceremony together, we will all offer this song. So I'm fortunate that I get to travel around the country in the work that I do in healthcare. And what I have found in many Native communities and functions and events is when we offer a prayer song, we stand. So I invite all of you who are willing to stand with me, and we will offer this song together. We will offer this song to the many men and women who were lost as a result of the social injustices in the world. May their families find healing. We will offer this song to the men and women who are currently serving in the United States military, and those that have been lost, we offer this song as a means of healing for their families. We also offer this song, this healing song for Mother Earth, for the many four-legged creatures that walk upon her, the birds in the air, the fish in the sea, the plant life, and all things upon our mother. And finally, we offer this healing song for all things within the universe. Thank you. Please be seated. <laughs> Gathered here on this holy ground, the psalmist calls us to remember. The earth, the earth is the Creator's, and everything in it, this world and all who live in it. We confess that many who have come before us misrepresented Holy Scripture in order to dispossess indigenous inhabitants of home and sovereignty, claimed divine authority 
to take these lands and use treaties as tools of imperial exploitation. They forgot, but we must remember the earth, earth is, is the, the creator's, creators and, and everything, everything in it, it this, this world, world and all who live in it. it. We confess that the doctrine of discovery harms all it touches, the generations of those it has oppressed, the spirits of those who use it to oppress. Hope of healing calls us to remember the, the earth, earth is, is the creator's and, and, and everything, everything in it, this, this world, world and all who live, live in it. it. We confess that as present-day residents of our precious Mother Earth, we have not been faithful stewards of her care, nor of the circle of life and all our relations, human and non-human. All creation calls us to remember. The Earth, the Earth is, is the, the Creator's and, and everything, everything in it, this world and, and all who live in it. Let us pray together. On this day we come seeking divine forgiveness and holding ourselves accountable to live in faithfulness and reconciliation for the sake of the earth and seven generations to come. 